So we've had some really, really cold temperatures. We had wind chills of negative 25 degrees a couple nights ago. Ponds froze over, but I'm seeing critter tracks all over the place. I had the boys hooked up to the back of the side by said, pulling them with the sled. They had a lot of fun. And I'm going to follow these. They're all around the pond. These are mine. But you can see critter tracks all over the place. There's some deer tracks at the back. Kind of curious as to what's made these tracks. I don't think it's anything real big. Strides not very far apart or they're just dragging their feet. And all over. A lot of wildlife here. Got to be careful tracking down these hills. All these trees are covered in snow and ice. Limbs can come down. Whole trees can come down. Hopefully I don't bust my butt on camera. Which is very possible because everything's slick, covered in snow. I'm tracking down the hill. Turn your feet sideways. Dig your heel in. I've always uh, kind of referred to be the penguin. Lean forward slightly and waddle back and forth between left and right. When you're on ice, you'll find yourself able to stay upright most of the time. You really got to keep an eye out on some of these limbs. Listen for cracking. We had a couple days of freezing rain. Three days of non-stop snow been dealing with busted water lines and froze water lines a lot of fun <laughs> crawling under the house I'm trying to get now here these are further apart this here is something with a longer stride so i'm gonna follow these tracks They're not real fresh because, well, that's fairly fresh. But over here, it looks like it's been snowed in. So they come up this way and went up here. Yeah, I would assume that is deer. Probably trying to forage whatever they can get to eat with everything covered in snow. Man, I tell you, still happen to run into briars. Well, they just crisscross and go everywhere back here. Yeah, that's fresh. You can tell if it's fresh. we had more snow yesterday and last night so if it's not fresh it'll be refilled with snow I'm always curious you never know when this is going to be beehive hornet's nest anything's possible I see them up in the trees all over the place around here There's several going in and out around here. I don't know how well you can see these tracks. These were from a couple days ago. They're snowed in. But these are fresh. Kind of hard to tell which direction they're going. They are going this direction because as th this is definitely deer. Okay, you see the hoof print. And then as they lift, they kick the snow out that way. So you can tell what direction they're going. I 
a deer, a doe, a female deer. And then there's side by side. <laughs> we'll follow it. Easier to walk through. Some treacherous limbs I gotta get cut out. Big old oak tree. This tree here is dead. Yeah, they're going back towards the house on that trail. They came from there. Right in there is where they bed down. One of the spots. See if I can make it down and up this hill. Plenty of wood to cut out. Take my heels in. And we made it. I'm about to run out of wood that's already split. <coughs> the other wood I've got by my pile up by the house is covered in snow. So I'm going to have to come back here with the side by side grab some wood and go up to the garage and get it split so we don't run out of firewood it's supposed to be in the 50s or 60s welcome to Missouri if you don't like the weather stick around for five minutes it'll change it's crazy three seasons in one month yeah that's pretty stacked so, I've definitely got enough to make it through the winter. It's just getting it split. The deer usually cross off of the property right up here. Oh, snow drift. But I do not see any tracks, so 